My name is Giannis Pappas. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Apparently 26% Turkish. Just found that out from Ancestry.com. Oh yeah, you which, Yeah, which is crazy because like Turks and Greeks hate each other. So I'm 26% the enemy in Greek's eyes. And uh, that was probably during the Ottoman era where there was a lot of rape. I can't, I can't say rape on here. <laughs> We're done, right? That's what you guys wanted to know? Is that what you came here for? <laughs> <laughs> so no big thrill when people saw me. It's just like, oh yeah, he's always been here. I didn't get that chance to make that big announcement. You know, like guys who come from New Orleans or Boston, they step on the comedy scene and like they've already had their like polished 20 minutes and they come like, have you seen the new guy? I've just always been around. Yeah, like the Empire State Building, just there. I kind of just tried to build my own fan base. I did a couple characters that got popular. And I think a lot of people started finding out about my stand-up through my characters. I just uh, I just moved down to Miami for my television show down there. And uh, you been to Miami? Anyone been to Miami ever? It's kind of like if New York and LA had a baby, right? And that baby developed a coke problem, it would be Miami. It's the most superficial town in existence. I mean, BMWs are like Hondas. You can see like 10 purple Lamborghinis in a day. Fake asses. But I moved down from New York and I had like a New York body. You know what I mean? I was like 30 pounds heavier. My body looked like yogurt with hair in it. That's... I looked like a middle relief pitcher for the Kansas City Royals, just... I come in for one batter. I'm a lefty on lefty specialist. Are you doing your Boston joke here in Boston? I, I, it was in my, my Boston joke was in the submission, but I uh, just had a meeting upstairs and they were like, why don't we stay safe? Like, you could tell Boston is a shitty city based on... You ever, you ever notice that every movie about Boston is about some guy trying to get out of Boston? <laughs> it's like, yeah, if I see you here in the morning, Will, I will fucking kill you myself. Boston treats New York like we used to date way back in the day, and then, like, we moved on with our life and became great, and Boston is just, like, stalking our Facebook page every day. And I just want to be like, Boston, let it go, dude, all right? We are way out of your league. Go date Philadelphia. You guys got a lot more in common. You can go be mediocre and racist together forever. Yell about your quarterback in a fucking bar every Sunday. I mean, it's the only city where you walk around and you're like, does this whole city work in the athletic department of the Boston Red Sox? And they gotta wear fucking Red Sox attire the whole time. Some fucking judge wearing a big poppy jersey. 